for lists we are going to be so how do we create a list so what we're in this find an area for list how do we create a list so list is so of course you're less than li so li represents a list but before we do and before we go into li itself your list needs like a parent so we have to create a list we start with either ul which stands for on ordered list or we have ol which stands for ordered lists we will see the difference in a second so let me separate that so inside our ul we are going to nest li inside so welcome to nesting so nesting is that you could put another html tag instead of another html tag so now we put li inside and now we would say um let's say list of of let's see list of dc characters and batman uh, batman aquaman uh, cyclops the next cyclops um, wow dc characters um riddler <laughs> oh my god so i created so now i'm gonna just find this new document i created a new document for that so as you can see for me to me so you can see batman aquaman riddler that is for on ordered list. So if I do copy and paste this in ordered list, I do this here, and do this save. So if you can see this is an a ordered list is numbered one, two, three. So that's the difference between a ordered and an ordered list. For ordered list, if you don't want it to go from one to three, you want it to go from three to one, what you could simply do is you could just put the attribute called reversed. And if you refresh, you could see it goes from three to one. In the same vein, if you don't want it to start from, from one, you want it to start from, let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want it to let's say you want it to start from let's say three for example you go and you say start then you make sure where you want it to start from so let's say five then if you refresh you can see um it goes five four three let's remove the reversed so that we could see it better so you can see it now goes to five six seven so that's for that and another thing you could decide to change is the type so if you don't want it to be one two three four five you want it to be um let's say you want it to be roman numeral so you say type is equal to you say it's giving you different types so let's just say this you save refresh you can see one two three roman numeral okay good if you want it to be ABC, you do A, and you got that. So that's for list. The next thing we want to talk about is nested list. You could nest another list inside. So let's let me just copy this and inside this particular list. No, 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 no copy this then inside this list I just, I'm just going to paste the same thing there's no time so you could see that's it next image so let's just put something here let's just see attributes or something I don't know so that's uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, so you can see now. So this is maybe we don't want it to be also. Maybe this time we want it to be high. 
So now you can see this is what it would look like. So that's for nesting list inside another list. And yeah, that brings us to the end of this. Now, uh, next we're going to talk about images. For images, the tag is IMG. So you see IMG. And this time it's a self closing tag. Yeah, yeah, so it's IMG. Now, this isn't going to work without a particular attribute, and the name of the attribute is SRC, which stands for source. Now, I'm just going to look for a random image. Let's go to on splash. Uh, let's download a random image. Let's see. There's no, no random. This random. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, Danny Greenberg. Your, your, your image is going to do a lot here. <laughs> okay, so now we have our image inside the same folder as this. Let me rename it because it's long. I just call this New York. Is, is this New York? I don't know where that is. I just call it place. Um, so images. So now, like I said, source is very is very important. So we see source equal to, of course, then you do dots because we want to target the same folder. So dots forward slash, and then we name the name of the folder we want to use. So I don't know why that. Uh, did I see? Yep, so please the PNG is what I want, but I want to put a dot slash in front. Okay, so now that's it. So if I double click on that and close the rest. So you can see the image is there, but it's so large. <laughs> like it's so large, it's it's taking the number of pixels of the image. <laughs> So I think maybe this is like 2,000 pixels by 2,000 something. So it's so huge, like so, so, so huge. Now, what we could do to reduce the size is we'll just give it another attribute and we will say, so what we could do to reduce the size is we'll give it another attribute and we would say height, let's say height, and we would say 100. Let's reduce the height by 100. Let's see what that will look like. So you can see, yay, we've shrunk the size. So let's, let's make that 500. So now that's what our image looks like. Just because we shrunk the height doesn't mean that the size, the file size has reduced. So be, so be careful of bringing in very, very heavy images into your website. So as you can see, this is 7.35 MB. This is really heavy. So, mm -hmm. so just be, so just because you reduced the height doesn't mean that the file size has reduced. Just put that in mind. Now, apart from source and height, um, we have, of course, you could also change the width. Let's see. So please, of course, the, the let's say the width is let's say five hundred to. You can see it's, this is the width. Now that it's five hundred. Yeah. Another attribute we could also work with is called the alt. So now this is alt would stand for alternative. So have you ever been to a website where the image did not load, but then you saw a text description of the image? Now that's what alt stands for. It's important you have alt in your image tag because it helps with screen readers, especially uh, for people who are visually impaired. So whatever you put inside your alternate text would be this would be used to this 
just describe your image and that would help your screen reader to you know work so let's just say um, the view of a city from a balcony so let's change this because we're well, imagining a situation our uh, image could not load or something happened so I'll just change this and if I refresh you could see the seat the, the view of the city from a balcony uh, typo okay so that's alternate text another thing we could put in let's remove this is title um, so put title and um, let's just see a beautiful view you will see what title does save refresh so now if we hover over this you can see a beautiful view popped up so yeah so for the source what we used was a relative path if you have um, an absolute path you could also put it inside there so let's say let's go back to our splash and uh, let's see let's put this instead then we'll do copy image address that's it copy image address and we go back to our code then we change the source to this we save if we go back to our website that we did if we refresh as you can see now it's the image from that absolute path so if you don't want to use a relative relative path you can use an absolute path for your image yeah and that brings us to the end of images now let's go to videos videos video videos for videos what we could work with, the tag that we work with for video is simply called video uh, so we just say video and it could be self closed or it could be um, you could decide it's not self closing but let's just use the, let's just use the one that isn't self closing so that I could explain some other things the very first attribute just like the image tag is the source attribute and the source attribute is very important as usual but instead of using a relative path um, I'm just going to use a video from an absolute path and then let's see what it looks like so now this is what it looks like it just looks like an image and you'll be wondering oh, why is there's nothing to play the video okay so if you want to do that what you have to do is simply bring in another attribute and we call this attribute control control so if I bring in the controls say control so now you can see you have the control so you could set you could to play to pause it whatnot okay that's for controls you could decide to specify the height um, let's say height is Let's say 400 pixels width is let's say 600 pixels so that's uh, landscape yep and now another thing we could do is bring in inside nested inside the video tags or the video tag we say source source will be another tag but this will be self-closing so now why are we why did we declare source here and another source here let's say for some reason this is not available you are giving it an alternate source to fetch from so uh so you still call it source and then whatever do it is where it is you put it there then you see the type of the video whether it is video um, slash mp4 or video slash 
whatever the name of the video format is now that's where you put it as and you could have as many as possible so you could have another one here so if this fails it will move to this if this fails it will move to this another thing you could put here is a uh, a message description let's say the person is using a very very old browser that doesn't support the video tag um, I don't know okay well it's possible but you just put your browser um, video isn't supported or something video isn't supported so if this is isn't supported then this would show on the person's phone or the person's laptop because they're using a browser that is a relic at the moment <laughs> the person is using a mummified browser okay yeah so um another attribute that we could talk about that is um, you, you could decide to use is called autoplay so if you if you're in a situation where you want the video to play on its own just put autoplay and then the next thing you want to do is to ensure that autoplay works for chrome especially put muted because you don't want a situation to, to, I don't think they are concerned about their users and they don't want a situation to feature starts playing and it's loud and it's distracting. So if you want to autoplay to work, then put muted. So you save that, you refresh, and as you can see, it automatically starts playing and you could decide to pause it. Another one you could decide to look at is loop. So loop will just make it start again once it finishes. So that's so those are the attributes that I would like to talk about that I feel are very very important. Of course, there are other attributes you could take a look at them in the documentation. You could use MDN or W three schools. Anyone you would like. Um, so yeah, that's about video. The next thing we would love. Okay, sorry. Um, we'll talk about this audio. It's like video, but it's audio. So let's talk about audio next audio is just like image it's just like video and so the tag is audio and it's straightforward it could be self-closing it could be but this time let's just talk about because it's what applies for video kind of applies for this too so i'm just going to put a self-closing tag you could decide to make it um sorry if you want it to be like this, you could do that. Remember, you could also put source. If you want, if the first source isn't supported and it's not found, it's moved to the next one. All right, so that, that, but we could do self-closing. Now, of course, what's important is the source. This source, I mean, SRC. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be an absolute path or a relative path we've talked about that if you want it to be if you want to get something from your local machine use a relative path and get to it but we are going to make use of an absolute path in this particular situation um, so I'm just going to paste it here and so this is the source that I want to do and then we put controls so that we could see the controls okay uh, so if we sorry if i go to the here so now that's there so it's there so that works just the way we expect it to and so if you want it to be muted you could decide to mute it in the beginning then if you want it to auto play you could also decide to auto play so you could put so other attributes auto play on the c auto play then there is loop and there is muted so uh -huh. so yeah and next one i would love to talk about 
would be tables. Let's deal with tables. And that is one that is very, very good. I think you would use it a number of times in your career. Let's get into it.